Hey everybody, this is Hook Tiki here with the arm cam to show you my mind-controlled advanced prosthetic arm in use, performing an everyday task that we're all familiar with, cooking. So as you watch me get started peeling some potatoes here, I'd like to address the question of how my arm is mind-controlled. I guess you could say my prosthetic arm is mind-controlled the same way my sound right arm is also mind-controlled. You see, the muscles and nerves in my remaining limb have undergone what is called TMR surgery. TMR stands for Targeted Muscle Reinnervation, which basically means the surgeon took the nerves that would normally control my hand, wrist, and elbow and connect them to my bicep and tricep muscles that were left after the accident. Right here, I'm having some difficulty with my eye limb hand. It's getting a little bit too slippery with peeling the potatoes, so I've opted to switch to what's called an ETD, ETD2 electric hook. So you get to watch that a little bit. <laughs> so with the TMR surgery, that gave me the ability to flex or contract smaller independent muscles on those two larger remaining muscle groups when I thought about moving my fingers or rotating my wrist, for example. So in a sense, I do use my mind to contract those new muscles, but that's not what makes my arm move. The other mind that's controlling my arm is powered by a co-app generation two complete control device. This tiny device was installed into my myoelectric arm along with 17 sensors that now read my new muscle patterns in real time. It then conveys and converts those signals through an algorithm software which translates that into movement. All my movements and grasp are really just me thinking about moving a hand that's really not visually there. But I can still feel and flex my fingers, wrist, and elbow just as if you were to close your eyes and do the same without looking. And that's because of the TMR surgery. But the Co-App Complete Control device provides visual feedback movement my brain needs to sync or pair my desired movements with that of my arms. This alleviates a lot of mental and physical stress that comes with controlling any type of myoelectric prosthetic device, thus allowing me to wear the arm for a longer period of time. So I'll leave you here to finish watching me cooking w more with my co-op generation two mind controlled prosthetic arm. I've attached some links to the co-op website and some other useful information below. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.